According to updates from the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, 125 clashes have occurred across various fronts since the beginning of the day, as Russian forces continue to escalate pressure. Nevertheless, Ukraine remains steadfast in defending strategic positions, successfully repelling many aggressive assaults from the enemy. The Russian military conducted two attacks, but was unable to achieve its objectives. The Kharkiv region remains strategically sensitive, and despite only a few skirmishes, Ukraine maintains a solid defensive posture. Russian forces launched five attacks, all of which were halted. However, two clashes are still ongoing, indicating that the fighting in this area has not cooled down. Controlling Kupiansk is critical for Russia, as it would help secure vital transportation routes in eastern Ukraine. This area has recorded 23 clashes, making it one of the hottest spots currently, with four skirmishes still in progress. Ukrainian forces are striving to protect important strategic positions and have successfully repelled several Russian attacks. In this area, only one attack occurred, and Ukrainian forces managed to repel Russian troops without much difficulty. This indicates that despite the Russian presence, Ukraine's defensive forces remain strong in this region. Russian forces launched seven attacks, with two clashes still ongoing. Kramatorsk is a crucial strategic location, and both sides are seeking control to gain an advantage on the eastern battlefield. The Russian military conducted 11 attacks, with four clashes still ongoing. Turetsk is a vital area with many critical transportation routes, prompting Russia to concentrate its efforts on securing it. Four Russian attacks were repelled, but one clash is still ongoing. This is an important area in southern Ukraine, and any occupation by Russia could shift the balance of power. Russia executed five attacks, with one battle currently taking place here. Vromivsky is a region with complex terrain, requiring both sides to employ flexible tactics to hold or defend positions. Throughout the day, Russia launched 25 attacks on areas including Novotoretsk, Selodovy, Novogrodovka, Krasny Yar, Vostvizhenka, Mikhailivka, and Marinivka. Ukrainian defense forces successfully repelled 24 of these assaults, although a battle is still ongoing near Selodovoy. Preliminary reports indicate that 460 Russian soldiers were neutralized, with 188 unable to recover. Additionally, Ukraine destroyed two armored vehicles, 11 military vehicles, and damaged various other Russian military equipment, including one tank, one armored vehicle, seven artillery systems, and nine military vehicles. Russia conducted 20 attacks and attempts to breach Ukrainian defenses in the areas of Zelani Drogi, Sukhareni, Gorgievka, Kostyantinivka, Katerinivka, and Hernik. Thirteen clashes have concluded, but seven others are still ongoing. Reports indicate that Russian personnel losses in this direction reached 100, including those wounded and unrecoverable. Ukraine also destroyed four Russian armored vehicles. The Kursk region also saw an escalation today as Russian air forces continued airstrikes on villages and cities there. Reports indicate that Russia used guided bombs to target locations, causing significant damage to infrastructure and homes in the area. It is clear that Russian forces are attempting to intensify their attacks in key areas such as Lyman, Kupiansk, Pokrovsky, and Karakiv. Amid the conflict between the two nations, Ukraine maintains vigilance and a fighting spirit to repel enemy attacks. Ukraine has demonstrated strong defensive capabilities and even organized powerful counteroffensives, inflicting heavy losses on the adversary.